Hear ye, good people. Jesus Christ be praised. I've got a few questions for you, Bailiff, if you don't mind. Have you been having some trouble around here? And what business is it of yours? Did someone complain? Who sent you here? No one complained, though I'd be interested to know why you think they might. It was Lord Radzig who sent me. He'd heard word that some unsavoury characters are holed up round here. Begging your pardon? Well, what the devil does Sir Radzig care about it? And I keep hearing the same from Sir Sebastian. And he's got no dog in this fight either. Sir Sebastian? Who's that? Sebastian Baron von Berg. He's here under monastery law to protect us against all this unrest in the land. Why should he care about the city? That's not his jurisdiction, is it? Quite true. I'm in charge of this city, but he keeps telling me I've got cutthroats hiding around here and I should be more vigilant. The goal of the man. You have an inn, and the horse trails cross here. There must be many travellers come seeking work, and not all of them honest men. Aye, it's true. Bedlam has broken out once or twice, and restoring order was no easy matter. Has there been anything like that lately? No. It's been quiet here lately. Now that I think about it, I don't recall coming across anyone here like that. Nobody looking for soldiering work, maybe as a merchant's guard? There's always one or two like that. But if they don't get the job, they move on. Have you heard any talk of strangers in the town? Maybe people acting oddly? Nothing worth mentioning. Sure, there's been some talk about the miller. Folks saying they've been seeing him doing this or that, or people visiting him at night. But he's never done anything. He's a decent enough man for a miller. I'll try asking him if he's heard anything. He lives on the other side of the river, by the bogs. But don't go getting your hopes up. He might not be able to help. I heard some recruiters are meeting in Sassau. Seemed likely they'd get up to mischief and people might complain. Do you think that people here complain and I don't do my job? Nothing of the sort. Old Lederman's the only one that comes complaining, but I pay no heed to him. And what does this Lederman complain about? Lederman is our local tanner. Lives by the quarry, which is where, well, some youngsters go there to wrestle. They go there to fight and that doesn't bother you? Why would it bother me? Much better to brawl there than in the tavern. At least in the quarry, they can't damage anything but each other. And my catchpoles go by there from time to time to keep an eye on things. Thank you, Bailiff. May the Lord watch over you. God be with you, good sir.
Hear ye, good people. Not thy neighbor more than thyself. So the scripture teacheth. Jesus Christ be praised. Tanner, I've heard all's not well with you. It's better now. I must have eaten something bad. No, I mean you've complained about some ruffians raising hell behind your house. Aye, true enough. That lot's been a thorn in my side. And when I went to tell them to take it elsewhere, they nearly beat me to a pulp. If you want, I'll take care of them. Well, you look like you could move mountains, but there are several of them and just one of you. Perhaps we'll be able to settle things peacefully. Maybe. They might think twice before kicking your arse. Perhaps I can reason with them. It doesn't have to come to blows. Well, break a leg, lad. Or better yet, don't. But... If you manage to pull it off, you'll get your reward. Don't worry. May the Lord watch over you. Hmm. What was that? Must be going mad. What do you think you're doing? Put the weapon away. Good day to you. I heard someone was looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about it? Maybe. I work in the quarry, and they're always looking for extra hands to replace them that's got something broken. Oh, that's not what I meant, but thanks. Farewell.
Good health to you. I heard that someone's looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about that? Willing to do anything? Meaning what? Something filthy like helping the knacker? I wouldn't know. Go and ask someone else. That's not what I meant, but all right. Good luck to you. <sighs> I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Well, what do you want? I've heard that someone's looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about it? If I knew you better, I might tell you. But as things stand... Been a pleasure. What happened with the tanner? Nothing out of the ordinary. He came to test his metal like everyone, but he couldn't even get past young weed. Then he started whining about getting his money back because we tricked him, so we threw him out. He came back a few times after that complaining about all the shouting, ordered us to bugger off elsewhere. But you didn't? No. And when he got really annoying, he got a punch in the mouth, and he hasn't been back since. Doesn't dare to. But it didn't shut that big mouth of his. May the Lord watch over you. I want to get better at fist fighting. Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but well, it'll cost you. No, pay close attention. I want to get better at fist fighting. Certainly. I'd like to hone my skills. First, you have to have some skills to hold. Well, I'll think it over. I'm looking for work, and I've heard someone around here wants fearless men. Do you know anything about it? Hmm. I've heard they might be looking for a new knacker. So if you're not afraid of carcasses and the occasional pile of shite... Thanks, but no thanks. Word has it someone's hiring mercenaries and other fighters. Ah, well, you've heard more than I. What are you doing here? Nothing special. Just a little evening wrestling. It's good for your back and digestion. And your purse, too, if you know your business. If I wanted to join in, what would I have to do? It's pretty simple. First you have to beat Wee. He's that not too dangerous looking fella there. But some nights, he gets a good rest and he's got God on his side. Then you can try one of those three. Doesn't matter which. And if you whip all three, you can test your metal against me. Fair enough. So the last match is with you? That's right. They say a bout with me is no joke. Just bad humours. <laughs> I want to fight you. What did I tell you? First beat Weed and those three clowns. And then I'll have time for you. Got it? Take care now. Mm.